What's going on guys? It is your boy Cash and we are here today <clears throat> because my voice is cracking. We are here today to do summons um, as I normally do. Most specifically, we're going to go and try to get Carolwick even though he's pretty much trash and everyone hates him, but he's I think he's right there on the cusp of being really cool. I think if they change him a little bit later cuz as you guys know here on this channel, we just kind of collect characters. We don't really do anything with them. Um as you can see, I actually eventually did make my Judge Kise team. I'm so proud of myself. Ah! We're also going to be trying to get Little Queen Charlotte. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm going in with my little bit and the title of this video is gonna be something stupid like, I'll show you how to get this character. So I'm going for the cocky, the super big dick play of not only getting Carowick, we're not gonna pity summon him. So pretty much whatever I have here, it's gonna go whatever it is. Cause I eventually wanna get back enough to get the season pass because the season pass is pretty much it's pretty much 900 crystals for a moonlight summon, so it's kind of like, how do you beat that? It takes, if you look at the mileage down here, it just takes way too long to get enough golden transmit stones to get it. So for 900 crystals, I much, much, much rather do that. This character is not limited. He's, you know, he's whatever. I think that if we go by a character to shut down Basar, you should just use Kron. Just use Kron. <laughs> I think he has a exclusive equipment that gets him silenced on his S3. Done. They like the same speed. <laughs> And the best part is that the thing that people don't like about Carrick that he does nothing after he alts. K Ron has a lot of functionality after he alts, but you know, you didn't hear that from me. Anyway, <laughs> for those that are still playing this game, how do you guys feel? I, I mean, it's really getting hard uh, to play. Right now, I'm, the only reason why I'm making this video now is just so I can do all my dailies, so I can just go right back to Seven Daily Sins. Seven Daily Sins um, right now is very captivating, there's a lot to do and it doesn't feel like busy work it's pretty much what this game felt like i feel like seven deadly sins is definitely the biggest competition to epic seven in a long time uh arc knights is was whatever it's not even in the same degree if, in my opinion because you have to think about a game that at least has pvp that at least has you know something to own up to it i think seven deadly sins is the best it's a really good lore because the lore is backed by the, the, the story and this game's lore is really good just that they don't really care too much about it i think that some of the seven deadly sins people will care because it's from anime this story this game has a good story but no one cares like when i do my lore video it's like it's very they don't get as much views and it could just be my presentation i can't blame everything on the game you know about it but let's go in let's go in on carry but like it's really cool especially this season uh this season this episode i thought was very very good i i really enjoyed um the overall story not the side stories as much but the overall story of this game is actually not that bad and i feel like in the beginning there were really cool stages there were stuff that people were talking about i remember uh, certain stages you were like oh man this stage is so hard and then even um the the abyss no it's not the abyss well the abyss is something that was hard but once you finish it there's no reason to go back to it which i think is a huge mistake on their end it's like there's no reason to constantly have that content to do or to try out new teams or to beat things quicker they have the the uh, automaton tower that's what it is they have the automaton tower but what is this you do that and it's so easy remember they were gonna say that they were gonna make a hard version of it but what is the <laughs> they still haven't done that they just did the hell mode thing and i don't know i i never feel like doing that i never do <laughs> carol works like me either i don't feel like doing it either oh i was right <laughs> bullshit luck i knew you'd ask for me soon i i was i was asking for you and now the next question, well, after we try to go for Charlotte, wins Ray. That's that's what I'm asking for too. Bring Ray with you. So we got Kerouac finally. We didn't have to go pity. That's what I'm talking about. We didn't get the black diamond of whatever the hell what is it called? Uh, the black hand of the goddess. We didn't get that. That's fine. You know, we'll we'll live. We'll live. All right. So do we still have more BS luck when we go to Mr. Summon? Do I have an elemental summon here too? No, I do not. Right? Those things don't matter, right? Yeah, you still need five of those, which is weird. I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> we won't even talk about it. All right, so next up, let's do these Mystic Summons. Hoping for more BS luck. Obviously, you already saw in my thing. I already have auxiliary lots. I don't need him. I don't have haste, but who cares about haste? Haste hasn't been relevant, as I said from the beginning of the game. <laughs> 
I remember people was like, yo, Hayes is so good. Yeah. I, you don't see him in anything. I think the most you saw him was early, like, maybe early, like, Golem runs or something like that. He could still work in Golem, but no one does Golem because no one has any value on the, the original sets, which is, like, HP, attack, and I think defense that goes in there. I actually need to make a Golem team because I want to go, like, a full defense squad and just have fun with it, but it's whatever. I'm going to go down a little bit. I don't know how, how much is that. We have 65. That's enough summons, right? <laughs> If not, then we go down. I think Charlotte, ML Charlotte, obviously she's a really cool counter to, uh, she's a really, really cool counter to like these annoying pesky dark units that are out there. Vildred, ML Ken, ML, but the only thing is Vildred's a different story, right? He's actually really annoying. But the difference is that ML Ken, I feel like was snipable by a lot of units. There are a lot of units that are not Moonlight that you have to, go through the struggle of everything just to be able to snipe a ML Ken. That's why I feel like ML Ken's now transitioned to being very tanky. Uh, Vildred, who's a little bit more brain dead when you build him, you can just build him damage. If they don't have an extinction or some type of follow-up, he's gonna get a nice sweet alt off. You can even put the Alexis Bastard on it. You can just check your brain off. It doesn't, <laughs> it'll just do whatever he does. And every time he gets a kill, his S3 uh, resets. So, <laughs> okay, whatever, you know? So it, it's it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting um, to have a card uh, card to have a hero that actually counters uh, dark units, you know. But I want, are they going to do the same thing for light? I know a lot of people probably would like it for light to kill a uh, kill out Ruel, kill out uh, Mate Chloe to be able to snipe them because they're usually built very tanky. They're not like always the easiest thing to snipe. So I would like to see the opposite. Give me a, a dark character. Make, oh yeah, you know, make Straws that character. Make Straws the 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 moonlight killer. Uh, the, sorry, the light killer. And we got an orange glow, which is eh, not really excited about that. Okay, it's a thing. Okay, cool. We're looking for purple. We're looking for big purple, not small purple. We need big purple here. And if not, we're just going slowly, slowly down into the abyss, and then eventually we'll get a character. Like I'm not crazy about moonlight charlotte but you know it'd be nice i i've gotten no oh, no oh, yeah, yeah i tried to try to lead into that mount Morenci, she's like i'm all you need and that's kind of correct i'm not gonna lie but so we got Kerouac. we did not get ml charlotte and she will remain there for the coming of days now what was cool about that is uh, like i said what i do like about this system is that it will go down so all the whales and all the people doing really good in guild that have a strong guild they're gonna get a plethora of this and pretty much i think i'm not exactly sure let someone in the comments if you're whaling it out or if you're in a really good guild can you actually get a moonlight every month like every time they change it to a new one they obviously do sometimes old ones but if it's if it's every two months, do you are you guaranteed that? Is, is that something that that's guaranteed to you if you're in a good guild? Uh, obviously, if you spend money, there's no it doesn't matter because I, if I'm pretty sure, which I, I still say I, I find it amazing that no one ever bitched and complained about this, is that yeah you could just buy these. You could buy three of these, three of those, three of these, three of those, and uh, a month. So even with your like thing, I feel like if you're whaling, I feel like you're pretty much in a good spot to get it. I don't remember how much, if I remember correctly, I think it's like 10,000 or some stupid shit like that. Like you need 10,000 mystic medals. I don't know the math of it, but I remember it's a decent number that you need. But I had 600 there um, and I barely do the guild. And we, if we win, we get like 50, <laughs> maybe 60. So it's, you know, I'm pretty sure someone in the higher guild is getting a lot. And then if they uh, spend on top of that, I'm pretty sure that they're getting, every time a Moonlight character comes out, they're gonna get it pretty much guaranteed. So I think that's pretty cool. I do like that system. Uh, I just think it's funny that people were complaining about packs, but you know, you can, <laughs> uh, these games are ruined by uh, money, not gonna lie. But that's gonna be it for me. It's a little bit below 10 minutes, depending on how long I keep talking. But, you know, uh, I got another follow-up video uh, to talk about everything with the coronavirus and myself. I don't have it, but it, uh, I, should, I might as well get it uh, based on everything that's going on. But I will let you guys know about that. Hope you guys look forward to that video. And I will see you guys in the... Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's how I do my outro. I say, just remember that every day at the casino is your lucky day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.